Hello everyone, welcome back. In this episode, we will learn how to implement email and password authentication using Firebase in our Flutter app. For this example, I have previously created a login and a sign up page. The first thing we need to do is go to Firebase console and create a new project. I created a project named Firebase Tutorials. Once we created the project in the Firebase console, let's configure Firebase in our project. To configure Firebase, run the command flutter fire configure and you can also specify the project ID. In the console, choose the platforms you want to configure. For these examples, I would use the iOS platform. After the installation is completed, you will see a Firebase option file created. This file contains all the configurations for each platform. Next, we need to install Firebase Core. We can install the package using the command flutter pop add Firebase Core. Once the Firebase Core package is installed, run pod install and finally run the project. Now let's go back to the Firebase console. You should see the iOS app listed. To enable the email and password provider, go to authentication section, then click on the sign on method tab, click on the email password provider and toggle it to enable. In the users tab, you can see all the authenticated users. Let's go back to our project and install the Firebase Out package. Then run pod install and finally run the project. Once we have configured Firebase in our project, we need to initialize it, typically in the main dart file. To initialize, use Firebase initialize app. The initialize app function receives two parameters, a custom name and a Firebase options. For Firebase options, we will use the Firebase option file created previously, which contains all the Firebase platform configurations. First, I would like to create an abstract class to define the implementations we need. So let's create an abstract class named out repository. Define a function named sign up with email and password that receives email and password parameters and returns a Firebase user. Next, create a Firebase out repository class and implement out repository. Create a Firebase out property and add it as a dependency injection in the constructor. Next, I will create a failure class that implements the exception class. We will use this class to handle exceptions. To implement the sign up, Use the Firebase out create user with email and password function that receives email and password. These functions will return a user credential. Define a user credential variable to store the returned value. Create a user variable to store the user from user credential.user. If the user is null, throw an exception. If the user is not null, then return the user. Finally, we have to handle the exceptions. For this, grab the code inside a try catch block. In the catch section, handle Firebase out exception and use a switch statement with the error code to handle different exceptions. I will add some common exceptions like embedded credential, credential already in use, or email already in use. We can add a custom message for each case. Finally, create an out service class to instantiate the out repository. Then create a function named sign out with email and password that receives the email and password parameters. The return value could be either a failure or a user. I will use the either dark package to handle the result. Let's call the sign out with email and password method from the out repository. Create a variable user to store the return user. Return the user grabbed by write as a successful result. 
To handle deceptions, grab the code inside a try-catch block. Finally, return the failure using left. We are ready to implement the sign-off in the UI. Open the sign-off page. Create an instance of out service. Go to the sign out preset function. First, get the values from email and password fields. And call the sign out with email and password method. Create a variable name and result. This variable will store either a failure or a user. And use fault to handle both cases. In the case of failure, we will display a snack bar showing the failure message. In case of success, close the sign out page to redirect the user to the login page. Finally, display that the user has signed off successfully. Now let's test the implementation. I will sign off with an email and password. Then I will click in the sign out button. You can see the successful snack bar message at the bottom of the screen. Next, I will try to sign up again with the same email to demonstrate a failure. Let's go to the Firebase console and navigate to the authentication section. You can see the new user that was created. Let's continue with the login implementation. Define a function named login with email and password that receives email and password parameters and returns a Firebase user. Implement the method in Firebase Out repository. To implement signing, use Firebase out signing with email and password that receives email and password. This function will return a user credential. We will do the same as before. We will define a user credential variable to store the return and value. Then create a user variable to store the user from user credential. If user is null, throw an exception. If the user is not null, then return the user. Finally, we have to handle deceptions. For this, grab the code inside a try-catch block. Handle Firebase out exceptions as we did before. Implement login with email and password in out service. And we are ready to implement the login in the login page. First, create an instance of out service. Next, go to the onLogin preset function. Then get the values from the email and password fields. And call the login with email and password method. Create a variable name and result. This variable will store either a failure or a user. Useful to handle both cases. In case of failure, display the snack bar showing the failure message. In case of success, redirect the user to the home page. Finally, display that the user has logged in successfully. Now let's test the implementation. First, I will log in with a different email to see a failure message. Then I will log in with the correct email. And finally, let's implement signout. Define a function named signout. Implement signout in Firebase Out repository. Create a method signout in out service and implement it. Now let's go to the home page. Create an instance of out service. Go to the on signout preset function. Call the signout method, then redirect the user to the login page. Now let's test the implementation. First, I will log in with my email. After logging successfully, then click the sign out button. In the next videos, I will show how to implement sign in with other providers. Let me know in the comments which other videos you would like to watch. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Thank you for watching. Bye.